So hello everybody. So we've got a new kit in the house today and uh, it's a uh, tank. It's been a long time since we've made a tank of any kind. Uh, the last one I remember doing was probably the uh, Tamiya Chieftain tank back in the early, late 80s, early 90s. Long time ago. I also made a uh, Tamiya Stewart light tank. And actually I'd have got making a diorama with that thing as well, so maybe. Anyway, this is as I mentioned my first tank model kit in a very long time. It is the PZ.kpfw.4aus.j last. I think it's a Panzer IV. I'm not certain. Uh, my knowledge of uh, German World War II tanks, let alone any tanks of any period really is quite limited and uh, the reason I bought this was because I quite like, uh, quite like the uh, look of it and I've seen people building them on the uh, here on the YouTubes and uh, I'd like to give this one a go so uh, it's a big box as you can see so let's take a look at the uh, box on the front you've got uh, there's a very nice painting there of the uh, tank uh, on the corner here it says two in one one workable track links to link and length style tracks uh, so 135 scale number bt-008 by border now border again is a new name to me uh first heard of them indeed probably <laughs> a couple of weeks ago when i saw somebody i think it was panzer master 35 36 him building one of these that actually he was painting and doing a diorama did a very nice job of it you know link below if you want to Take a look at that. Uh, so that's the cover of the box. Ready to assemble precision model kit. Modeling skills helpful if under 14 years of age. Model may vary from image and box. Cement and paint not included, obviously. Uh, <coughs> right, so on this side, what do we have here? Here, a picture of the tracks. Apparently, how, how they so. I think I got the idea. You got uh, either track links, like you build them like a proper track, like a train, or you got. Uh, a track built in various pieces for this image. Uh, this image here tells me that this is um, a uh, PE and a uh, picture here on how to do tracks, something there about a cinder gun, some uh, codes there which are really very popular in China. Uh, anyway, this side the image is uh, uh, the image on the kit and basically the same effect, most of the same information that you see in the front and the price £37.50 this one I bought this one from um, Halifax Models World over there in Halifax and uh, you know it's I was thinking about it the, uh, the other day it's actually cheaper for me to buy from him from this store from the Halifax store online than it is for me to actually go to the shop in, it, itself which I've been there quite a few times before uh, because uh, postage is quite low three pounds for quite a big box which is good value uh for me to go there means taking a train ticket and that uh, cost me at least 10 pounds so save myself seven pounds uh this side you've got uh, paintings of three different camouflage uh colors and a list of paints here made by uh Amo mig mig Jimenez. No idea what that is. Uh, I'll just go by the names and probably buy the paints that I like. Probably Mr. Hobby or Tamiya or Vallejo, whichever is most convenient. And on this end, you've got the same thing as you saw on the other side. Anyway, let's get to the exciting stuff. Let's open the box up and look what's inside. Right then. Big box. Little post it note here so I can. Uh, I've got the date written on it, so the date that I received it. And uh, right, put that aside. So there's a lot of plastic in here, big box, a lot of stuff in it. So I shall uh, do it these way just a moment. So I'll start with the paperwork. So straighten this out a bit. So zoom in. So in plastic written book and uh, some other parts which is interesting so let's get it open so I'll put the parts aside for the moment the bits so 
didn't realize there was so much battle work. Okay then. So, what do I have here? Sideways, a little bit bigger than A4. Instruction manual, instruction booklet, little magazine. Painting here by Jason, 2019. So basically the cover there, that's the image you got in the box. So, first we start with information. History of the uh, tank, a couple of old photographs of it. And the sprue maps. So we have two of those sprues, two of these sprues here, that sprue there, and the various bits and pieces. And uh, little information here on assembly of special parts. Not sure what that means, I'm sure we'll find out when I get there. Yeah, that's page one. Page two. So it's, as, as I mentioned, it's been a long time since I've done this, so I'm not familiar with the building of uh, how tanks normally go together. But it uh, starts off with some little parts there that I don't recognise at all, which includes the PE part, so there's that to do. And then more bits. So I'll rush through this fairly quickly because I've no idea what's going on. Um, start there with the tub of the main body of the tank. Uh, we're going to page three, stages six to nine. Appears to be all about putting the uh, wheels, or the road wheels in. And then some uh, parts of the uh, tracks that go on the body of the spare, spare track. Spare tracks. Uh, what do we have here? So we'll carry on with the uh, building up the main body. Then side parts and so on. And it goes on. Let's have a look at this so you can see what's going on. It's so far looking... Is it simple or complicated? I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Well, it's not simple to me anyway, but uh, let's see what's going on. Now then here, Lincoln Left Style Tracks. So this whole length is one piece, or apparently two pieces, and this piece is one piece, and then put them together work them around and so on. Or you've got the option of building the tracks. You've got a jig and all sorts of links. So I think we'll see that in the box, I think. And uh, so then you put the tracks on, put the, all the other bits on, put these bits on, in our and out. Anyway, drill holes in the end of it. Oh, oh surprising. And then more in uh, our, oh, in our, I think this is right and the left. And then you got uh, all the PE parts, which you may have seen before. So showing you how to put them all together. Oops, ooh, blimey, that looks pretty complex. So, should be fun. More of the PE parts, the side protection bits. Not sure what they, what purpose they serve. I'm sure I'll find out later, do some research. Then you go into uh, building the... Uh, Main gun, K27. Now I think there's a uh, the main gun is basically a lot of piece of metal, which is this piece here. But we'll see how that fits in later. Um, there's no mention of a of a spare part in it in here. P. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Next page. You better uh, put in the uh, turret on and so on, or the greeblies and bits on top of the turret, the uh, box, the back of the turret, the main turret itself, all the other bits and so on. And then 37, put the turret on top of the tank that you built earlier. I was going to say fairly straightforward, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a fun build. So the next page is, is painting. So painting and marking guide. So which is this one? Late model, I'm guessing. Well, it's all the same model. So and anyway, we got that marking painting marking guide there. Then you got this other one here, so you can go right way up. And then the next page, there's another one. 
because uh, you see it doesn't tell me which versions they are it just tells me the model of the tank itself and that's about it and then this one a slightly interesting one winter camel so basically splash a pile of white onto that one and what's next one more so this one uh, so 11 pounds of division number 33 1945 Germany so, does it say this on the other ones no it doesn't or oh, I'm assuming that uh, these first two first three color markings are generic or basically what, what, what they painted them and then this one the uh, winter one it tells it here uh, reg regiment Panzer Regiment 31 5 Panzer Division number 515 March 1945 East Prussia so there's that, that option to do that one and so so these two tells you what they are the other two it doesn't and that's it so on the back you got a uh, technical drawing style sort of thing of the tank anyway let's go to this item and have a look at the plastic and metal parts right then so uh before we do that let's take a look at the bits that were in the bag with the manual i've got some uh, pile of uh, these things what's called poly caps put that aside there's a uh, three pieces of photo etch okay, we... so there's one tiny one here Voyager model it says on the bottom there and then you have uh, these two which are I believe are the side uh, the parts that go on the sides made by border it's just on the corner there so I was going to say they're identical but I don't think they are they're well they're uh, left and right versions of it so there you go so then we'll have this little thing here which is the barrel uh, the gun barrel so assuming there's a part that goes on the front end so assuming that's the front end so but looks like a piece of turned uh, turned aluminium which is interesting first time I've seen this I wasn't expecting this to be a part of the <laughs> kit to be honest so that's a uh, happy days and then you got the uh, decals here uh, first row for maybe a border tells you what it is and uh, yeah I think the three marking versions was it five quite a few uh, those away that's right, so the first thing on the top is this so what's in here I think this is by the track links so there's quite a few of these and they all appear to be uh, links pins for the track links I'm guessing so there's uh, how many of these one two Quite a few of these. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we've got thirteen of these each. Little one has, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, so 32 times 13. Work it out for yourself. So there's a lot of these, all in plastic bags. So I'll put these away and get on to the next piece, or next bag. So 
So I'll go to this bag next, which I think is the other part of the tracks. And uh, the link and link workable track links rather. <laughs> so there they are. So there's a lot of these. So there's pieces of track link here. And uh, there's also uh, or a piece of a jig to allow you to uh, put these things together. So that's going to take take some time. So how many of these have we got? So I wonder how many track links there are on each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Looks like the one is broken up into little pieces. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, there's enough here to make the whole thing. What fourteen? I'm guessing 14 times, what was it, 16, so do some sums again. Roll this back in the bag. So that's all quite new to me. This is a really quite interesting experience putting this together. Hopefully it's fairly straightforward. I can, you know, there's a jig to put it on and everything, but uh, We'll see. Right then, let's go into the rest of the uh, plastic. Um, so then I'm just picking them out at random. And happily, the first one I've picked out is screw A. So, do I need to take it out of the bag? Probably not, but I'll do it anyway. So this is through A. You've got 70 parts on here, I think. It's a lot of pieces. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to beat about the bush. Uh, as with a lot of uh, modern kits, the uh, molding and so on is very clean, very precise, very neat. Uh, so we've got on the on here, for example, uh, two versions of the uh, uh, gun tip end and they are what's called slide molded so they're molded sideways as well so it's got a hole straight through the side straight through the straight through the end which is pr pretty clever uh, similar thing has been done with this machine gun here uh, though there is a bit of flash on that I think so so it should be fairly easy to come off well, I hope it is flash otherwise it looks a bit weird and, uh, and this piece is broken off. Is there something on there? I don't know. Because they're trying to look where it's come off now. <laughs> so where would it be? So we're sticking out the side, sticking out the top. What? Hmm. can't see where it might have come off so hopefully this is nothing to worry about but uh, I'll keep it nonetheless you never know right then this is uh, sprue B and uh, as you can see lots of tracks so there's two there's two there's two of these in this bag and they contain uh, pre-made tracks, mostly pre-made tracks, and, and the bits that go around the corners. So this will be the flat bits on the bottom, flat bits around the, si the sides and so on. And then this will be the uh, sag, saggy bits across the top. And I uh, don't think I need to take it out of the bag, so let's take a close look at it. So 
so lots of wheels on this one so, uh, wheel hubs wheel bits the tracks look quite pristine they actually look sharper and cleaner than the other ones just looked at these moldings too uh, but then it's probably because they're plastic moldings well those are they're soft plastic more of, more of a vinyl than a plastic and uh, there you go lots of uh, tiny detail you've got uh, rivets and bolts tiny rivets and bolts in there and so on all these little tiny pieces there which yeah there's a lot of stuff here the, the, the detail on this tank is quite remarkable I think hmm and a sprue B and the sprue B A instead of the corner there so the next sprue is uh, two sprues in this bag here and they're two different sprues so take them out for a better look So sprue E A that way up to easy that way. So the top of the tank I'm thinking sides or rather the uh, the uh, yeah the top sides of the tanks all these little things and so on these be side bits. Uh, so as I remember in the uh, instructions it tells you to drill the ends of this though the ends of this one are drilled out. But not at this end, so what do you have to do the other end as well that isn't that isn't drilled out? I say drilled out, the molded out, so you can see there's a so you can see there's a holes in these ends here. Can we focus on that? Yes, just about. And uh as I mentioned before, the detail on this is uh, pretty much excellent. There's detailing on the underside of this, but there is a uh, there's a few rather ugly extrusion pin marks so you might have to get I don't think uh, the, uh, they may be visible because it's got there's going to be a gap between this side and the tank tracks which are going to be just underneath it because that's the top that's the bottom so uh, yeah also these little things no idea what they are <laughs> and so lots of multiple bits that are the same Gone to this sprue E B. It says in the corner there. Uh, same again, you know, clean, crisp, beautifully molded parts. Uh, lots of very fine detailing on virtually every single piece. And uh, on the other side, a uh, similar thing. This, this particular piece here, uh, I think it's a cover or a a door or lid <laughs> and it's got uh, some very fine detailing on the inside there with uh, what appears to be um, what's you call it molding marks that would have been on the uh, metal itself fortunately got this rather large extrusion push pins on this thing which look yeah I've never seen anything that ugly and I kept it. I wasn't expecting something like this on this so I'm sure those are gonna have to be cut off but uh, I think this bit is, is not going to be visible so that's they'll be well hidden um, so that piece there I think that's the uh, part of the uh, cupola or well, not cupola, manlet of the machine gun that sticks out the side of the uh, turret beside the big gun um, no idea what most of these parts are, frames and stuff, putting things on I guess. Doors and covers, hatch, hatches, so on. So uh, again, everything was beautiful. Let's get to the next bag and we have a sprue K. So jump from E to K. So. Right then, so sprue K. Uh, there's another tip for the main gun. And then all these pieces here, which are slide molded, so they all have a hole in that end where you normally wouldn't expect to find one. And uh, again, 
yeah, not much I can add to this. You know, everything looks beautiful and pretty and very well, highly detailed and beautifully molded. So a quick look at some of the uh, detail parts. As you can see, that's the slide molding on, on those bits. Uh, pieces here, not sure what they are. Part of the gun mechanism, I think. Um, these pieces here look very complex and interesting. What's on the other side? Just wondering about, so I think this one, that piece, this one, that bit in the middle comes out, is not part of the, uh, is not part of the uh, structure, so need the use of some very fine sharp cutters for that. Uh, but anyway, there we have it, so that's that sprue, everything looks, again, very nice. Not much I can add to that, this little sprue J, it says on this one. Getting. Smaller than the other sprues, but uh, so border model it says on the back side there. So quick look at this. Lots of tiny fiddly pieces in this one, so one's going to need to be careful. Some more track links, quite a lot of those, and uh, Lots of bits and pieces, all the uh, lots of tiny little greeblies and such. On the back side, lots of uh, extrusion marks like there, but uh, hopefully these won't be visible. Uh, I'm fairly certain none of them will be, but you know, you never know. Uh, exhaust pipe uh, muffler there, I think, and don't know what that is, but it uh, looks. You see it is also slide molded, so you've got detail molding on the sides that you would normally not be able to see in this type of molding. So so again very excellently done. We have another bag of two identical sprues and uh, this mostly has to do with the uh, small wheels I think and uh, is this the same sprue that we had before or? I don't think it is. I'll take a while to get a better look at it so two identical sprues this is a sprue F again lots of road wheels idler wheels is that an idler wheel and uh, track links over there or oh, are they track links not sure what they are uh, some things here with some incredibly fine detailing on them get a close look at that so these little bits here which are of interest uh, suspension pieces there again slide molded so they've got space at the other end and yeah, lots of uh, very nice moulding. Is that a bucket? <laughs> so is that a, a bucket or something? Part of the uh, equipment. And also, if you look closely at the wheels, you can actually see the writing on the edge. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can certainly see it here. Uh, get it in the light maybe, that might help. Not sure if you're going to see it in focus, but I think it says Continental. Anyway, so that's that sprue, and as I said, there's two of these, two of this sprue, both the same. Side by side. Okay.
Okay then. Put these away. So here's another sprue. We'll get a nice close up on this one. This is sprue D A. So little sprue with a few parts in it. And uh, I'll leave this in the packet because you don't need to see it. Uh, these bits here which look like exhaust pipes or some sort of thing, they've uh, got the nicely moulded with the uh, this slide moulding thing which I quite like a lot. Yeah, I'll take it out of the bag. What the hell. So I can take it out, I'll take it out of the bag anyway, so yeah. nobody's going to know. Except you and I of course. So uh, slide moulding, which is another thing I like about modern moulding technology. Uh, it's hard to tell which side is which because, uh, well, you can tell which side is which. This part here has uh, three extruding pins, but all the other bits are fine. Except maybe this one has one bang in the center. But, because of where it is, it looks like it's part, it, it looks like it's something that should be there. So, yeah, maybe. A couple of our large spanners there. And uh, these things, no idea what these things are. Probably part of the track. Uh, part of the tracks, I think, or the spare tracks that you put on the side of the track, side of the, side of the uh, vehicle. So yeah, it's a nice little sprue here with some very nicely moulded parts. So then, got some pieces here in on the own in plastic bags. Still a few place pieces to go. So this is part of the turret, I think. And this little piece is leave it on there for the time being and it looks pretty good uh, you can see the uh, some texture on the uh, material to make it look like it's metal I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there it looks like there's a bit of a scratch that would have happened in transit um, yeah but underneath a couple of uh, push pin marks extruding pin marks but uh, hopefully not going to be visible because there's, there's looks like there's going to be something on the inside I think or is there? Do I remember that? I don't know we'll find out soon later uh, but the rest of it looks very good very nice piece of moulding there another little piece here again part of the uh, turret part I think so I, I think this goes on the back of the turret but we'll find out later and uh, two pieces on their own numbers 71 and 72 uh, hmm. Some very tiny rivet bolts on the uh, on the bottom edge of this thing I think uh, uh, at least I think it's bottom edge all around so yeah very good and Last but not least is the uh, main turbo of the vehicle. How do we get into it? Now this looks like one hell of a complicated piece of moulding here. This has got detail on three sides, well four sides, three sides, four sides. One, two, three, four. The back end is clear, and uh, yes, that's a, <laughs> a very impressive piece of molding all the way to these section here, which you can see all the way through. So, so a, a finer piece of molded plastic. I don't think I've seen in a, certainly for a long time. Anyway. Uh, so this is the main part of the tank, so everything is going to go is going to go onto this. So I've got to say, it is a very impressive piece of molding with these little fins and veins down the side here. I have to admit, I'm quite impressed. So I was wondering why they needed to go to all this trouble to put all this part of it in one piece here you know, because sure because uh, other manufacturers might have had this part as a, and this part as separate items it's a simple 
drove to just stick them onto the side there, but uh, Border has decided that uh, it's better to have it all as one unit. So I guess if you've got some very clever engineers, you're going to use them. Anyway, there you have it. So this is a uh, Border Models Panzer IV, or whatever all that means. They last. So I assume last means it's the last version of the tank that was built. And uh, so it looks like a very impressive piece of engineering to me. Uh, some very finely molded pieces. The tracks are going to be fun to do. Uh, I've never done that. I'm looking forward to putting all that together. And uh, you've got some metal pieces, including the uh, main gun, just one metal gun barrel. And uh, all the PA, all the... <laughs> Another PE down the side of the of the vehicle and other little pieces. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be putting this together soon. I'll nip out and get some paints for it to get it all right. But uh, yeah, so that was the first look of the uh, contents of this box of the uh, PZ PZ KPFW four Aus J last. Uh, Panzer IV, last model I believe. I suppose I have to read the uh, instruction to see what it says about it actually. <laughs> then I'll probably know what all that means. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, take care and uh, happy modelling. <laughs>